Hey everybody, Richard Fergola here from Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions. Happy Labor Day. We are here to bring you a great video today. We're gonna to do some Labor Day classics. It's gonna be my take on a traditional cheeseburger and maybe some other really cool sides. Check it out. Happy Labor Day, everybody. I am gonna bring you a very cool recipe that is a take on one of my favorite cheeseburgers I had in college. This is something that you can cook for your Labor Day party with your family, your friends. We're gonna do a, a cheeseburger, we're gonna do some corn on the cob, and we are gonna do some grilled watermelon. So we're super excited to bring all these Labor Day favorites. Let's start out with the burger. Here's what I love about this burger that I'm gonna do. In college, I got it all the time. It was called the BA Burger. I'll let you decipher what BA stands for. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these candied jalapenos that we have here at Proud Souls. We're gonna chop these up. We're gonna mix them in with the patties. The ground beef that we are using today is the Booth Creek Wagyu ground beef. We're gonna make our patties out of this. We're gonna mix in a little bit of the Richard Fergola buttery garlic rub. We're gonna put some eggs in for some binders. We're gonna make up some patties and we're gonna cook them on the Napoleon grill. We're gonna get these jalapenos chopped up first. And we're gonna use our Victorinox knife, our chef knife. These are candied, like I said, so they have a sweet flavor to them, but they also give you that little bit of that jalapeno flavor. And we're gonna mix up quite a few of these into these patties. These candy jalapenos can be used for so many different things. Got the jalapenos all chopped up. We're just gonna mix that in here with our beef. We're gonna take about a fourth of a cup of the buttery garlic, and one way you can do that is just use the lid. And this is salt, pepper, garlic, butter, and some citrus. It, it goes great with burgers. And we're just gonna mix that in. We're gonna come in with a couple eggs. These are, eggs are gonna be our binder. Keep our patties together. And we are using two pounds of ground beef, so see how big these patties come out. And if you wanna mix something else in for flavor, by all means do that. This is just what we're gonna go with today. I like to keep things pretty simple. And then we're just gonna get in here with our hands and we're gonna mix all this up, mix all the seasoning up, get these eggs all mixed out through. Make sure we got plenty of jalapenos in there. I personally do a little bit more jalapeno, but I think this is gonna be good for our two pounds of beef. Get it mixed in really good. Once we got all that mixed in, you can also use uh, breadcrumbs if you want as a binder. I've always used eggs. Uh, one thing I found out when you use the, the breadcrumbs, sometimes it comes off as more of a little bit of a dry bite. And I wanna keep that these burgers moist. So we're gonna take just about, just about like a tennis ball size patty. We're gonna kinda roll it together just to make sure it's all, all together. And we're gonna make a patty just like that. We're gonna stick them over here on our, on our foil pan. So we're gonna make some more patties. We're gonna get the Napoleon fired up and we're ready to grill some burgers. It's Labor Day and what goes better with your hamburger than some corn on the cob. And we've got some fresh corn on the cob from our produce friends here in our parking lot. We've got a little bit of Kerrygold butter mixed in here. We're gonna let this baste in the butter, put it on the smoker, let it catch some flavor. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of our Richard Fergola buttery garlic. When it comes up to temp, we're gonna serve it with these burgers. So let's get going. All right, everybody, our Labor Day feast is done. We cooked everything on the Napoleon Phantom Grill. We did a mixture of the gas with the charcoal basket on the Napoleon. So we did have some smoke added into this cook. We got our burgers done, we got our corn on the cob done, and we got our grilled watermelon all done on the Napoleon. It looks fantastic. Let's build this burger. So we're gonna start down with a little, just a little bed of uh, some green leaf lettuce, just to kind of help so it doesn't soak through. And we're gonna come in with some of our Meat Mitch Yellow Brick Road mustard because I am a huge mustard fan. So we're gonna put a little bit of that right on the top. We're gonna come in with our patty. We got a, uh, a Chipotle cheddar cheese to put on there. Guess what? I'm gonna put a little bit more mustard on there. That's how much I like mustard. All right, we're gonna come in. You can, you can do grilled onions, whatever you wanna do. I like raw onions. I like to have that crunch, that texture. So we're gonna throw that on there. We're gonna come in with some of our Proud Souls 
Sweet Fire Pickles. You gotta have pickles on a Labor Day burger. The nice thing about these pickles is they're, they're cut really thin, they're sweet, they got a little spice to them. And I feel like, I feel like that's good, but you know what? I feel like we need to maybe add just a little bit of bacon on top to finish this bad boy off. And once we do that, we're gonna top it off with our sesame seed bun. And we got our Labor Day burger. We're gonna put that over here on our table. We're ready to go. We're gonna come in with some of our corn on the cob that's just been sitting there basting in butter. You can see that all dripping. We're gonna come in with some of our Richard Fergola buttery garlic to top, top this off. Give it a little flavor right on top. Roll that through there. We got our corn on the cob. And then lastly, we got our grilled watermelon that we seasoned up with a little bit of our Richard Fergola apple cherry. And we're gonna top that off right there. And here we have our Labor Day feast. We got our burger, our jalapeno burger, our grilled watermelon, and our corn on the cob. Yum. Our feast is all done. We've got it all plated up. I gotta get a bite of this. Oh man, look at that onion and those pickles. Mmm. The crunch and the texture all coming together. Follow it up with a bite of this corn. Oh man. Awesome. And for dessert, a little grilled watermelon. Mm. Check out this video, all of our videos at Proud Souls BBQ on YouTube or at ProudSoulsBBQ.com. Want a chance to win a $1,000 shopping spree with Proud Souls Barbecue and Provisions? Well, all you have to do is go to ProudSoulsBBQ.com, fill out the form, and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for our YouTube channel, and you are entered to win.